Good morning. So I am doing a new project and I wanted to give you some info on the things that you need to get for this project. And then I'm just going to show you in stages how it's made. I don't know about you, but I have always loved palm trees uh, for inside the house, but I have never been able to keep them alive. They turn brown if you don't give them enough water. They turn brown if you give them too much water. How do you know where's where's what? Bleh. I just couldn't do it. And so unfortunately, the two beautiful ones that I had, I gave it a good shot for I think probably four or five months and it just didn't work out. So I'm going to use the containers in them and I'm gonna create a fake plant because those seem to do much better inside the house. Outside with flowers and plants and ferns, I got it, but inside the house it just never works. So some of the things that you can get is, the first thing is go to um, any kind of craft store that you like and go into the party section. In that party section, it will have a tiki section. And in the tiki section, they will have leaves and they look like this. And they come in a pack of, I believe, six. And believe it or not, they're only $5.99. Now, these are the same type of leaves that you get when you buy fake plants. Here's the back side. Here's the front side. These are quality leaves. They're really nice and it's a really cheap price. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my own tree but I'm gonna make it unique and kind of do it a little bit like a floral arrangement, but I'm gonna use different types of plants at the base. And um, I'm just gonna fill it in however I wanna do it and have a year round beautiful tree that I do not have to worry about. The other thing that you're gonna get at the store is one of these little, I don't know what you call these, pe pegs, it's not a pole. I can't think of the word right now, but it's a little wooden, stick basically not don't get a teeny tiny one get one that you could drill a hole in the top which you see here because a leaf or something is going to go there then what i did is i took my power drill and i took one of the um, tiny little thingies and i i drilled little holes just off center of each other i don't know how well you're going to see that but i did this throughout the stick and i'm going to leave a good amount I'm gonna leave about this much to actually go in to the dirt because I want it to be stable when it goes in. So you're gonna to wanna to get one of these and these are like 69 cents it says on there. So it's already we've got 5.99. You might buy two bags of those so that you have the option to add as much as you want. Um, I had two bags and I used some in the house elsewhere. And so I use the leftover plus a new bag. So I would say get two bags. Okay, so now you're at what, 11 bucks? Um, twelve dollars. Sorry, because if you round up five nine eight, six plus six is twelve. I can do general math. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the other thing that you're gonna get in the floral section at your hobby shop is you're gonna get these little green wires, and you're gonna go in the floral section because the floral section is gonna specifically have these um, so that they blend. And these are your stems to guess what? Your leaves. And what I did was I simply, probably about an inch and a half, I just kind of went up to the third rung of the, of the vein of the plant. And so I put some hot glue and just stuck it on and hold it down. And you can barely even see the hot glue, which is nice. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna end up cutting this down and cutting it, sticking it into the pole and then just bending it however I want it to look. So the rest of the video is going to contain just me doing the work and it's pretty straightforward, pretty open for interpretation. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. First, you're going to take your drill and you're going to drill holes unevenly around the base of the pole that's gonna act as the trunk of your tree and do it all the way through. In the beginning, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that and I realized something that I'll show you later. It's important to go all the way through. Don't worry also if you cannot drill anything because you don't own a drill, you can also use the wire and hot glue and I'll show you that later. And now to assemble the tree. I cut the wire almost in half, inserted it into a hole from the bottom all the way up, 
and wrapped the excess wire around the stem for extra support. Fill in the bottom with ferns or any plant or flower that you like, dried moss, and just the regular old green moss to fill it in and make it lovely. The stem also has moss. Now I also added a foam cone to the top of the pole and then I added on different pieces of smaller ferns and flowers that will match my decor. And I went through the entire stem and I covered it with moss. I filled in the bottom parts and I also filled in the middle sections with additional plants and flowers. And I used a zip tie to um, adhere those things together. And remember that you can always turn it to the direction that looks the most full to your facing public or yourself. And you can always adjust the plant leaves because they are made of wire. I thought this was a great success.